Shock, horror, Juventus failed to win in Serie A. Will that disrupt their season? We'll talk about it next. Right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time, looking forward to match number 23 in the 2018 2019 Serie A season. Now, I'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button, keep it back up to date with all things Serie A related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we jump into match day number 23, we're going to take a look back at match day number 22 and look at my predictions and, of course, the results. Just see how many I got right. I don't know how many I got wrong. I don't think I did. I did pretty terrible, uh, to be honest with you. But we're going to kick it off with Empaglio up against Kievo. Now, Kievo, I think, are one of the form teams. I know they're bottom. They've only got nine points on the table. Um, but they're one of the form teams. They have been They have been pretty, pretty decent considering their situation. But you know, a 2-2 draw against Empaglio uh, last weekend. I actually saw this as a win for Kievo. 2-1, so I got it wrong. Uh, just one goal shy, though. Uh, but Kievo just seemed to be digging away and getting points uh, left, right, and centre. There might only be draws, but, you know, they, the, a win is around the corner, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm smelling one pretty soon. Uh, Napoli took on Sampdoria this weekend. Napoli, obviously, trying to keep up the pace with the Juventus. We're hoping they can slip up. 3-0 uh, win uh, in the end over Sampdoria. I got this one. Bang on the nose, folks. Bang on the nose. Now, here we go. Surprise result of the weekend. Juventus at home against Parma, who are mid-table. Ended up as a six-goal thriller, uh, three apiece. I actually saw this as a four-goal thriller. In favour of Juventus. Uh, unfortunately, I got that wrong. Spau against Torino. Spau digging the heels in a little bit. Getting a nil-nil draw against Torino, who are in 10th spot now. I actually saw this as a 1-1 draw. So not too shabby. Indeed, Udinese up against Fiorentina as well Udinese trying to get some points on the board they don't want to get sucked into that relegation scrap up against Fiorentina who themselves have gone off the boil a little bit uh, and actually saw this end up being a 1-1 draw and I got this one bang on the nose so not too shabby maybe I did okay this weekend Genoa up against South Sulio now South Sulio again start the season in tremendous form kind of slipped away a little bit against Genoa who were battling in the mid table again 1-1 draw uh, everyone got themselves a share of the points I actually saw this as a 2-0 win for Genoa against the South Sulio side who were slipping in Inter Milan against Bologna. Chaos. There's chaos in Inter Milan at the moment. Internacional. Uh, they might, you know, they're only third. I don't know what the what the problem is, but there's a lot of disgruntled fans out there. Uh, they lost to Bologna 1-0 at home as well. So I actually saw this going the other way. 2-1 win in favour of Inter Milan. Roma against AC Milan. Game of the weekend, folks. Obviously, a game such as this. No one can afford to lose it, can they? Ended up as a 1-1 draw. And that's what I saw, folks. A 2-2 draw for me, though. Um, so not too shabby indeed. Frosione up against Lazio. Uh, Frosione, second from bottom, propping up the table. Lazio, uh, mid to top. Ended up as a 1-0 win for Lazio. Away from home. I actually saw this. A little bit more goals in this one. 3-1 win uh, for Lazio. So, uh, correct result. Incorrect scoreline. Moving on to Cagliari now. Up against Atalanta. Atalanta. Yo-yo team. This was, one, uh, was a Monday, Monday game. Atalanta. Where are they? They are flying high now after this result. It was a 1-0 win over Cagliari. And I actually saw this as a 3-2 win uh, for Atalanta. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 10. That's not too bad. Uh, whew, yeah. I, I impressed myself with those predictions. Anyway, kicking it off to this weekend's action. It is match day number 23 and some tasty games on the agenda. Lazio up against Empoli. Now, Lazio coming to this in seventh spot. Empoli are in, uh, where are they? These 17th, so good 10 spots between these two sides. It's going to show uh, this weekend. 3-1 winners for Lazio. Kievo up against Roma. This is my shock, shock result. Obviously, Roma are in sixth. Kievo are bottom. Like I said earlier, Kievo are grinding out the results one way or another. I see them getting a draw here. And that would, if they were to get that point, it would be only three points adrift of Frosioni, who are above them. Fiorentina up against Napoli. It's a tasty one, this one. Obviously, Fiorentina, a bit of a yo-yo team at the moment in ninth spot. Napoli are in second. A few goals in this one, but they're all going to go one way, and that's in favour of Napoli. Parma against a very troubled Inter Milan. Um, obviously, I, but I don't see the problem. Uh, with Inter Milan, they have third spot. They, they can't be too greedy. Four points adrift of Inter Milan. Oh, AC Milan. Surely they they you know got to resign this season between Juventus and Napoli. They should just got to stay stay in the thick of things. And all that chaos could cause some problems. Uh, and I actually see this going in favour of Parma to surprise a few people who are in twelfth spot and a win for them could see them jump as high as ninth, depending on what else goes on. Bologna up against Genoa. Genoa are in thirteenth uh, spot. Bologna are in eighteenth spot. Bit of a mid mid bottom crunch clash here, but obviously home form for Bologna will give him a little bit of an edge. So I see this as a 1-1 draw. Sampdoria up against uh, fellow st oh, strugglers Frosione. Sampdoria in eighth. A win for them this weekend. See, could see them rise as high as fourth 
depending on goal difference. And I see them putting in a few goals against Frosione. 3-0 uh, win at home. Atalanta up against Spawn at Atalanta. Fifth at the table at the moment. Their win for them could see them rise high as fourth in the old Champions League spot. Spal themselves, though, a win for them could see them rise from 14th to 13th. Cannot see it happening, though. Atalanta will pick up the 2 0 win and the three points. Torino up against Udinese. Now, Torino are in 10th spot. Udinese are in 16th. Uh, Udinese need to get some points on the board, unless they could get sucked into a bit of a scrap as they're only a couple points off of 18th. Uh, but I see this as a 2 2 draw, folks. Four goals, uh, but only to one point apiece. And that will not give anyone uh, any boost whatsoever. South Studio up against Juventus. Obviously, South Studio started the season in tremendous form, but kind of slipped away a little bit. But they're, I think they should be, they'll should be they be content with where they are at that moment. But a win for them over Juventus, give it, believe it or not, could see them rise as high as eighth. Uh, Juventus are still top, and they'll be top no matter what happens at the result. But I see Juventus coming away with a comfortable 3-0 win away from home. And wrapping it up, it's AC Milan against Cagliari. Now, Cagliari are in 15th. AC Milan are in 4th. A uh, win for them could close the gap to their fellow uh, Milan side if they were to pick up the big W, and they will with a 2 1 win at home. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep you a bang up to date with all things uh, Serie A related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Also, check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there Twitter, Facebook, and all that kind of good stuff. And while I still have you folks, make sure you drop your own predictions down in the comments section below and we'll see how many you can get right. And of course, how many you can get wrong and see if you can out predict me for this weekend's Syria at action. And again, folks, we'll be back same time, same place next weekend uh, for some more Syria at action as we look forward to match day number 24. Until then, I'm going to let you get out of it. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.